Okay, so we're working on this Tangram project and I'm putting a video out to show you how you can get to this, right, from your CAD drawing. This is our little taster activity. We're not on the 3D glasses just yet. We're starting off with the Tangram. Right, if you want to make one of these, look, that is doable even during lockdown because I'm going to offer you the chance of uh, sending me files that you created at home and I'm going to laser them out for you in school and then post them to your house, hopefully. Right, so here we go. This is my laptop. Right, now bear with me, I'm on a quite a wobbly table in my room in school. So, I've got SketchUp for Schools running here, and just to show you, more as a reminder than anything, because there's a different video on this, how you can go about using TechSoft for Schools to draw out your Tangram. Sorry, not TechSoft, SketchUp, bear with me. Right, first thing you've got to do, you go to this little I button on the corner, remember, then you choose millimetres, level of accuracy, put it down to 0, 0.0, and then exit that. The little man in the middle, if you just click on him and then press delete, that's quite a good thing to do. I'm doing all this with a touchpad, no mouse, just to prove that you can do it with a mouse, uh, with a touchpad. Go over here to the right hand side where you see scenes. And on scenes, if you click on the second one down there that says parallel projection, and then click on the roof of the house, you're now viewing the uh, drawing surface in 2D. So you've only got the green and the red lines, no blue axis there, so nothing in 3D. Right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here to the right hand side, you're going to click on the draw a rectangle button, just drag a, a square and let go, don't double click. On the bottom down here you'll see some numbers, don't click on those numbers, just leave them be. Type in 80, comma, 80, enter, and you will have a tiny little square. Now, people were emailing me and saying, Mr. Owen, I've got a tiny, tiny little square. because you just need to zoom into it, okay? You have, it zooms to wherever your mouse is, okay? So I'm just zooming in by using two fingers and dragging them down the touchpad there, okay? So there's my square. Next thing I do is I choose the pencil tool and I go from the corner to the corner and I go from the corner to the corner, make sure you hit those attractor points that you get. Whoops, Daisy, that one hasn't, for example, all right? So I'll go back in and do that one again. So just make sure you click where you see a little, oh, hang on, because I'm using the tracker pad. So just go from that point up to that point, and then I want to go from the middle to the middle, like so, and I want to go from that one to that one in the middle, and I want to go from that one straight down until I hit that. Then I go to my rubber and I get rid of that line and I get rid of that line and that's my tangram. Okay, so my tangram's done. Next thing I need to do is I want to export that file so that it can be lasered out. So you go up to the button at the top here. Oh, first thing you need to do is save your work. So call it tangram and save that tangram into your Google Drive and make sure you save it in somewhere where you're going to be able to access it at a later date. So I'm going to put mine in my drive into a folder called, let's have a look down here, I think I've got one called Scrapbook. Uh, I should put it in my 3D glass one, yeah, I'll put it in my Scrapbook folder, just select that folder. Okay, so, error file saying name already exists, okay, I'm going to call it Tangram2, click OK. So that should save that drawing into my drive and Select a folder again, sorry, telling me, let's go do it again. Go down to Sketcher, go to Scrapbook, click Select. Okay, so that's good. Now, right, now what I need to do now is I need to go to these uh, three little dots here and I want to go to Export. Now, on Export, you need to go down to where it says DXF and you need to click 2D. And when you click 2D, that will send you to another button that says, what kind of DXF do you want? Well, a uh, 2013 file I should be able to open, hopefully. Um, let's just have a look at what else is available. AutoCAD release. Right, let's push it back a little bit. Let's go to release 12, okay? So I want you to click on release 12, and then you've got full size one to one, that's what we need, right? So one millimeter in the drawing is one millimeter in the model, in real life. Polylines with curves. That's all good. So all we do is we go export and then give it a second. What it's going to do is it's going to download that model, this is that, that magic DXF file. Um, your model's been sent to cloud for processing, you can notify us. And hopefully within a couple of minutes, that's going to appear in my download. OK, 
Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, so view export. So my export is complete. I can click to download that export, and then that will appear down here as a Tangram export. And all you need to do is you need to email me, uh, M -O -N at milfordhavenschool.co.uk, with that Tangram and your name. You might include your name in the file, actually, would be a good idea. And then I can laser that out for you. And hey, presto, in the post, in a couple of days' time, you will have one of these ready to have a mess around with. Okay, so follow those instructions if you're not on TechSoft, if you're on SketchUp, right? So SketchUp's going to work fine for you to do what you need to do, just a little bit more clunky than TechSoft. All right, so well done.